Kaguya's awake. Oh. Me, me and Kaguya won. You should be sorry. Serving me this inferior co coffee. Oh, this is rough. <laughs> oh, yeah. LOL, nailed it. This obviously has some truth to it, but I feel like it gets less pronounced as I get older. I remember when I was younger, it was hard for me to function. One scenario that gave me a lot of difficulty was having two friends who didn't know each other meet because I wouldn't know who to be. But the worst of that, thankfully, seems to be a vestige of the past. I think the thing for me now is not who I am, because I'm always the same person. It's like how much I show or how candid I am. My closest friends are people I can just say anything with. There's a little bit more experimenting and playing that's possible because they already know very distinctly who I am. There's less risk. Kaguya and Miyuki are still pretty deeply entrenched in their masks. Notably, I think it's when the masks come off that they have their best moments and the, the deepest attraction for each other. We've got a reputation to consider. Yuki hopefully is the one to rescue her. Right, I forgot about that, this don't rely on anyone thing. She resorts there when she's threatened as a defense mechanism. Wow, wow, this is a major step backwards. We just hurled ourselves off the clock tower. I, you gotta go all in here, go all in. Yeah, oh, yeah, oh my god, Miyuki. We can do it with a maybe at the end. <laughs> you gotta see through this. You gotta see through this. But he's so on his back foot and reacting. He's in a meltdown. Just lost the war. I feel like the solution to this is blasting through it with his feelings. Not playing this love is war game anymore. Please. <laughs> and being so convicted in his feelings that her mask feels fragile and fake in comparison. <laughs> This is awful. This is awful. Ouch. Ouch. That cuts deep. Oh, sure. Okay. Fine. Let's do it. Why not? This is my trap warnings are going off. Trap alarms are blaring. I just do it. <laughs> Why not? See what happens. Miyuki, you need to regroup, man. Regroup. Regroup. He's so weak right now. He's just like at her feet. He... She set that whole thing up. Checkmate. Poor Miyuki. Oh, oh, that hurts so bad. It's not unsympathetic. I actually think Miyuki's reaction is the most natural. Oh, it's just so hard to be objective in that situation. Because he's put so much into it. He's got like his whole life riding on Kaguya. That's how it feels. He was riding this high from the Watchtower balloon incident. And just in general, he's someone who wears his heart on his sleeve, does things in good faith. And that's such an easy target for someone who is good at manipulating or goes into manipulative mode. And if you're not prepared for it, if you don't know how to defend against that or can't see it for what it is, that it's actually a test and actually that it's her fear, her coping with kind of the anxiety by, by grabbing onto a safer space and the kind of like pushing you go into panic mode because since you're a person who genuinely cares about the person and is conscientious and is open-minded and is giving you take what they're doing and saying at face value and if you're too emotionally wound up in the whole thing a moment like this can send you reeling which is exactly what the other person wants and it's a spiral because then once you're on your back foot they're just going to keep hitting you while you're while you're weak and deep down i think kaguya doesn't want that like what kaguya actually wants is to hit a backboard, you know, to hit Miyuki, being resilient in what he wants. It's counterintuitive. Miyuki's trying to be considerate, but actually he's doing what Kaguya wouldn't want him to do. It's tricky because as much as you want to listen to people, you'd also want to be careful about taking their their words too much at face value. I feel like if he takes a moment, he might figure it out. He was just caught off guard. Yeah, look at what people do, not what they say. There he goes. He's wrapping his mind around it. He's also likely hinting at something. I wonder what the hand thing means. He's <laughs> about to fly away. Come on. And Godfather theme. Oh no. 
He would do anything for her if he could see the path, you know, knew what it was. Another winner, Megalol. Nailed it. Christmas is only a couple days away here. Something's gonna happen. Yeah, I wouldn't be able to sleep either. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, I know that feeling. Not being able to sleep. Finally falling asleep and waking up after one hour. You know what you can do though. Yeah. Yeah, I've been like Pavlov conditioned to get great pain from Okoai Koto. It's. I don't know, it's, I have mixed feelings because on one hand, I feel like it's so obvious that Kage is pleading with him, like basically indirectly begging him to just like take take the lead. I also know how difficult it is to be objective in that situation if you're Miyuki. He's just way too wound up in it and it means too much to him. He's overanalyzing, worried about every misstep. And it can be tough to find a balance between assertiveness or like directness and let's call it patience, I guess, or like pulling back because you want to be respectful. You want to be patient generally, but you also want to make things happen. And a lot of the time, the biggest factor that'll make a difference one way or the other is how much the other person already likes you but often that information is deliberately obscured i don't blame him at all and i've been there <laughs> mental collapse and despair and insomnia <laughs> voice change too i don't know still feels like an affect no. I want to go to Chica's Christmas party. Not alcoholic drinks, never mind. Oh, hot pot, I'm back in. <laughs> back in it. You gotta trust in the thing that is not marrying, which is your own feelings. For once, I actually think a confession is the way to go because of how far they've come. あら、クリスマスも近いです。ちょっと話が。<笑><笑> <laughs> Soundtrack still great, still still hitting. She just needs to get away so poor can smell her. God damn! <laughs> Shades of Yor from Spy Family. Okay, well, this, maybe this is not the way, this is a little creepy now. Can't get away from me. She's worried about the smell. Once again, the miscommunication. Who would have thought in Kaguya-sama Love is War there would be miscommunication? <laughs> sending me mixed messages. <laughs> I need a Kakia Sama Love is War perspective on my own relationships. How do I obtain this third party experience? Because it simultaneously seems so opaque for Miyuki and so clear to me, <laughs> having the benefit of a lot more information. Everything she says is just gonna feel like a knife in the heart. And he's gonna take her word for it. He's gonna believe it. Because he's afraid of it already. So that neural pathway, that thought is already just open to be absorbed. And yeah, why not? May as well get a kiss out of all this. But yeah, no, no, my again, trap alarms. Not like this. Very honorable. Very specific. I didn't know there was a kick for that, but okay. A lot of her anger is at herself. Because I wanted to hold your hands. I would have if I had known. I'm just stupid. But I really like you. So, so drama. 
so high school. It's like we reset. <laughs> we just reset. But it means we can get back there faster. We can get back to the same place faster. We've already been there. <laughs> I suspect that this girl is actually really, really good at manipulation. いい方。まあ、そういうことなら任せなさい。私恋愛マスターだから。え。うん、オッケー。ビッグダウト。嘘よ。オッケー。あのな、バッドバイスキンビュースフォルトゥ。会長が私の気持ちを全然分かってくれ
that once you see it, you can't really unsee it. It's easier to get back to. Once you step into something personally and emotionally dangerous and experience a, a taste of victory, you forever know one, how good it feels, and two, the fact that it wasn't as life-threatening as you thought you could make it through it. I can relate to both of them, but especially Miyuki, who's, you know, he's doing his best. Like, he's trying to be caring. He's trying to cater to her, but that's not really the right solution, pragmatically, in this case. The good news is, lucky for him, Kaguya herself has the propensity to be highly emotionally intelligent, and I think given enough time, Miyuki can't really get it wrong because he genuinely is good, and she will see that. She will probably correctly see his missteps, not as weakness, but as confused goodness, let's call it. Either way, there's a monumental amount of pressure building up for Christmas Day or Christmas Eve or whatever it is.